Canadian Warren Buffett Prem Watsa triples his position in Alibaba and that's what we're going to be looking into in this video. So smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, you're watching more money, let's get it. All right, guys, so the Canadian billionaire Prem Watsa actually tripled his position in Alibaba, which you can see right here in the fourth quarter of 2021. And if you guys aren't familiar with Prem Watsa, he's the founder, chairman, and chief executive officer of Fairfax Financial Holdings, which is based right here in Toronto. And he's also been called the Canadian Warren Buffett. And so you can see in the fourth quarter, Prem Watsa's firm purchased quite a bit of Alibaba Group Holdings. And another point to note is they actually purchased some Tencent Music Entertainment Group shares as well. That might be something that I spend a little bit more time looking into. And also, of course, you guys know that I'm going to be putting out that Tencent video very soon as well. Now, just to put this into perspective, though, his Alibaba position is not that high relative to his other positions. Adco, of course, being his main position. So I just wanted to put that into perspective. Although he is purchasing more and more of Alibaba... I do have to note that it's still a relatively small portion of his portfolio, but once again, it's another sign of approval, at least from another super investor. That being said, I found something interesting in his Q3 purchases. So he was actually buying H&R Block in Q3, and that's really funny to me because I was really harping on H&R Block back in Q3, at least to the Patreons, and so it's interesting that he saw that opportunity as well. I'd like to see H&R Block come down a bit more. I don't know exactly know where they're trading at today, but... Um, it's a company that I'm looking to continue to buy more and more. Now, a couple of other items. So it looks like Li Lu has completely sold out of his Pindodo position. Um, and if you guys remember, he did own JD.com at a while. Uh, and if you guys may remember, he did also own JD.com, I believe. So he's completely out of so he's completely out of both. But one thing that's interesting is that he added to Facebook in the fourth quarter. So that was very interesting to see. So with Manish Prabhai, you can see that he actually completely sold out of his Alibaba position, which makes a lot of sense because he was buying Tencent. Uh, and then, of course, you can see that he's also reducing his Seritage Growth Properties position. And he added to Micron. I still need to finish my model on Micron, but I think as time goes on, there's going to be more and more demand for chips. And so a company like Micron, I don't think it's a cyclical business anymore. I think there's a real secular demand for microchips. And, and so we'll see how this develops, but it takes a long time to build a chip foundry. I know that they are building one in the US, but I think there's going to be a lot of demand put on Micron going forward. Now, one thing is interesting. I always like looking at Seth Klarman's portfolio because that's one that a lot of people don't look at, but it's interesting. So I found that he was purchasing Liberty Sirius XM and normally this won't trigger anything to me, but what I found interesting is that Seth Klarman isn't, isn't the only one who purchased it in the fourth quarter. If you look over at Warren Buffett's portfolio, a huge position that he added, or I guess his investment team may have added, is also Liberty Sirius XM, so their Series A stocks. So sounds like there's something going on there. I'm not really sure. Worth it to look into, though. Of course, Chevron is my favorite oil giant, so if you're concerned about the price of oil continuing to increase, Chevron is probably the way to go. New Holdings is a Brazilian financial services company. I think they're similar to... Um, and Alipay, I'm not sure. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong there. And the Activision Blizzard acquisition seems a little sus. But um, I think it might be. I, I can't remember when the Activision Blizzard acquisition was announced by Microsoft. But if it was announced in, the Q, in Q4, you might remember that the share price of Activision Blizzard was not at the share price announced by Microsoft as what they're going to pay. So there is so there is a bit of an arbitrage opportunity. So that's what, what they might be doing there. Or they got completely lucky and they purchased a ton of those shares right before the company uh, was acquired by Microsoft. So I don't actually know how the dates lined up there, but interesting that they uh, they purchased that. that. That is something that I did mention to the Patreons, that there is an arbitrage opportunity there. However, the longer Microsoft takes to close the transaction obviously the lower your annualized return is on that arbitrage opportunity and then just looking at michael burry so michael burry is investing so mike so it looks like michael burry is cutting his geo investment and that's a public for-profit jail company now what was interesting with geo group was the value opportunity wasn't in the for-profit jail business but it's their new business that they're rolling out which is uh, tracking technologies and so it turns into almost like a cloud-based um, 
hardware and software type business. Uh, so it was interesting. It seemed like a value. I personally didn't buy it. Uh, and it looks like over the last two quarters, Michael Burry has been closing his position. So interested to see what the value investing community thinks about this. Do they still think it's a buy? Um, I'll let you guys tell me in the comments below. And of course, the other interesting one, and of course, the other interesting one, and I missed it earlier, is that he completely sold his Discovery Communications stake, which I looked at when he originally made the purchase of Discovery Communications. I didn't see a value there, so it's interesting that he just sold it now. And so that's it, guys. Very interesting that Prem Watsa is purchasing more and more of Alibaba. I haven't been purchasing more shares because I've pretty much maxed out on where I want it to be as part of the portfolio. But it's interesting to see how more and more people are coming in. Now, if you guys aren't aware, Alibaba will report Thursday next week, which is the 24th, I believe. So if you guys want to see a preview to that report, I made a video right here.